Hello fellow Vikings, today I'm going to introduce you to the Alfheim modded server for the Valheim game. Once you join your new know, Discord channel, first thing that you need to do is to apply by going to the apply channel and there you want to type dash apply and follow the instructions offered by the bot. There you'll choose an option and fill out the application. When you finish your application, you'll get a message from the bot with password for the Alheim server and further instructions, which will be to type that you are waiting to get whitelisted. And as soon as possible, one of the administrators will whitelist you and you'll see your name here. While you're waiting to get whitelisted, you can go to install guides and download our latest mod pack that we're using and follow the instructions how to install it and in the optional mods we have a list of the mods that you could use aside from the mod pack once you get whitelisted and launch the game you'll see quick connect button up in the left corner click connect and create new character you're gonna need a new character for our server because characters are saved by the server itself, so you cannot use any pre-existing character. And click start. You'll get prompted to enter password. You can copy paste it from the bot message, or you can simply edit config file to quick connect and enter the password there so that you don't have to enter it every time. Once you load in, you're gonna notice that our starting experience is a bit different than vanilla. Here you can find all important information related to our server. And to enter the world, you just go under this MPC and jump in the portal. Welcome to Wibline, our custom city. It's like a main hub so basically whenever you want to join the world map or arenas that I'll introduce you soon it's gonna be from here here we have all essential NPCs one of them is Tinker you can sell collectibles to him and get the Ragnals, which are our server currency On the left side we have normal vendor, which is similar to vanilla one, just with two additions. He is selling shards for enchants for the epic loot. In the next building, which is this long house, we have a few additional embassies. One of them is banker, when you can deposit your direct nulls to him for keep saving. Uh, and, and by doing so, you're gonna get interest rate on your money. It's gonna be 10% weekly or 20% weekly for Patreons. Next to him is Exchanger. Here you can exchange gold coins to drug nulls or you can keep them if you would like to craft some of the decorations. And in the middle we have trading post, which is player marketplace. Here you can list up to 15 items with 3% tax, 1% tax for the Patreons. And whenever you want to list an item, you pick an item, pick an amount, set up the price and click the big rectangle. You're always setting up the price per item and marketplace will calculate for you if you're selling anything in bulk if you want to buy an item just press buy and you can scroll through the pages for all the listed items on the marketplace
aside from the market we have Barracuda's awesome casino where you can test your luck by playing your chances with some of your dark nulls. When you interact with MC, for example 100 roller, the moment you open his screen you're gonna see all the possible rewards and the amount of drug nodes needed to gamble. Next to him we have 500 roller and he has a bit different list, a bit better rewards and you can test your luck with this one. Rest of the NPCs are coming in future patch We'll have 1000 roller, 10,000 roller, and giveaway for our Patreons. We are using Valheim Legends, and to make it easier for our players to pick their class, we created custom altar, which is this small table here. You have message on the runestone that says you can pick your class here and by sacrificing appropriate item on the altar you can choose your class. If you need more info about the classes you can check out our wiki page. When you have chosen your class head to the portal in order to progress further you need to press A in order to interact with it and then it will offer you all the possible options where you can teleport. We have 8 starting locations, you can try them all, one by one, to find your perfect starting location. Other options are Player Hub and Forsaken Shore. In the player hub we have Patreon section where every Patreon gets a direct portal to the player hub. Next section is clan section. In order to create a clan you need two people, choose a name and that clan will get a direct portal to the player hub too. Next section is event section. Here we are listing uh, portals of our event winners. For example, we have a building contest and here you can check out those builds. Don't forget that you have to interact with the portal by pressing E. You cannot go through the portal, you have to interact with it. And to progress further, we are gonna pick to go back to the town. Head back to the portal and this time around choose Forsaken Shores. Here you can choose Forsaken Power from one of the bosses. We are currently at the world level 5, so we have all the bosses available. Once you've chosen your Forsaken Power, head back to the portal, interact with it and then you will see the option for the custom arenas we do not fight bosses here in the world map we have custom arenas in the void all around for this showcase we are going to pick starting arena for the elk boss Edgar and once you are in the custom arena you will see the altar in the middle here you can sacrifice the item to summon the boss and like in Manila, you can sacrifice an item to pick a class here. Head back to the portal, pick the blind city again. Now you're ready to venture the world of Alhem, so Head back to the portal and pick your starting location. Mm -hmm. 
I welcome you to Alheim, the world of brave Vikings.